we're still talking about um, interpreting Bode, Bode plots in the case where, I guess I should show this, uh, green frozen. For this configuration, um, it's unity feedback, and you have this forward path transfer function, which since the feedback path gain is one, it's also the loop transfer function. But what we're doing is, well, we already talked about finding steady state error. That's in a previous video. Um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about relative stability, primarily in terms of a thing called phase margin. Um, there's also a gain, marg gain margin. I'm, since we don't use this later in the course, I don't, I don't really talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about it. It will be left in my uh, charts here, which are available at my website, which is down in the description of the video. But anyway, let's get into this. Uh, so our loop transfer function is this forward path gain G. So the closed loop transfer function is this. Neutral stability, or right where it's about to be unstable, is when this denominator equals zero, or when G equals negative one. So its magnitude would be one, and its angle would be minus 180 degrees. Um, that's where we sort of get, get the, uh, what the phase margin means. The phase margin is this gap. It's actually, I'll just show it to you on the next chart. Here's how you would read the chart. Uh, we're doing the phase margin. You remember the blue lines, somebody gives you the graph, somebody gives you the voting plot. And that's, that's the blue lines here. Where does the gain cross over zero gain, zero dB. That's called the cutoff frequency, omega sub C. Uh, here, omega sub C, it's called the cutoff or crossover frequency. So you look at that crossover frequency where the gain crosses zero dB and go down. And now you're looking for the gap or difference between where the phase plot crosses that frequency, that cutoff frequency, and minus 180 degrees. If, if it's above the minus 180 line, that is positive phase margin. And if, if it's above the line, the, the, um, the, the closed loop system is stable. Remember, we're well. We're we're finding performance characteristics or performance measures of the closed loop system from the loop transfer function or the forward path transfer function. So this tells us a that the uh, closed loop system is stable, and about how much room you have to breathe with that. How close is it to being unstable? It looks here, let's see, 90, these are 45 degree increments. So this is, I'll call it maybe 15 or 20 degrees of phase margin. And it's positive phase margin, so it is um, a stable. Closed loop system is stable. And model here we talk about the effects of increasing or decreasing the K naught. You know, if you multiply that forward path gain by some factor, or divide by some factor. Let's say you're gonna do it by a factor of three. You go back to the original thing. A factor of three is about 10 dB in gain. So if I decrease it by 10 dB, that would have the impact of lowering this blue line by 10, 10 dB. Instead of redrawing it though, I can put a reference line that's 10 dB above it. 
And that would be like my new zero dB line. We call that the reference line. So draw this reference line about 10 dB above the old zero dB. And we'll, we'll say there's about 10. So we want to find out what, what happens to the phase margin if we decrease this k sub zero or multiply the g of s by a third or divide by three. Decrease it by a factor of three, which means multiply by a third or divide by three. We move the reference line up for a decrease. And that, look at that, what that tells us. This would be the new crossover frequency if we did that. And there, well, look at that. It's a much bigger phase margin. It's more like something over 45 degrees, more like 50 or 55 degrees. So we went from a phase margin of 15 to 20 degrees up to 50 or 55 degrees. Um, what if we increase it by a factor of three? What if we increase this K naught by a factor of three? Then we lower the reference line. I'm trying to get that straight. When you increase, if you increase the gain, you lower the line. If you decrease the gain, you move the line up. So now the crossover frequency is over here. And look, that gap is below the 180 degrees. You have negative phase margin. That would make your closed loop system unstable. So here's kind of a summary of if you change that case of naught, the gain, constant gain in the forward path uh, transfer function. You can see the effects on phase margin which also means stability um, by doing what if. What if you change this K zero, what does it do to phase margin? And we're gonna find out that phase margin tells us, gives us a way to approximate yet other performance measure. Um, you could actually draw that reference line or just do it in your head, move it up, for a decrease in that K naught and down for an increase. And remember that a factor of three is, 10 D, is about 10 dB. A factor of 10 is about 20 dB. And that's usually about all I ever gave my students, a factor of either three or a factor of 10. Um, there's that. Uh, next, we'll show how phase margin can help predict other performance. I'll save that for another uh, video.